Hi Internet, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Udoka. On this channel, I talk about whatever I want to talk about. So if you're going to subscribe, make sure you're just subscribing for vibes. Because I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this type of content. It's just kind of fun. This is another Trisha Paytas video. If you don't know about all of the dramas Trisha Paytas was involved in, don't worry. You are going to get a test of it in this video today. Because I wanted to react to this, this TikTok channel. TikTok channel? TikTok page? It's called Contradictions of They and or Contradictions of Trish. And this stuff is funny, bro. Trisha Paytas has contradicted herself so many times in her YouTube career. And she was able to get away with it because people didn't take her seriously. People just thought she was... <laughs> I don't know. People thought she was playing a character or they thought, you know, she's just someone that you don't take seriously. As of lately, she's been trying to be more serious. Um, she kind of got on this whole new shtick of trying to expose other people and, and rag on other people and just point out all of the bad things about other people. When it's like, actually, you got a lot of bad things to that you haven't, you haven't been accountable to yourself. So I don't know. Let's take a break. I'm taking a break before I finish up cleaning. Let's let's take a look at some of these contradictions and see if we can believe it. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. Am I on the page? Let's just make sure that we're on the on the page. Contradictions of they. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, I think I'm figuring it out. I think I'm figuring it out. Okay, let's click. This OBS get my computer moving very slow. Let me move this. Okay, we finna watch, we finna watch. Now this is TikTok, so each video was what, like a minute? Let's check it out, let's check it out. How many, how many is there? How far do we want to go? It's not that much. It's probably a minute each. Y'all want to watch each of them? I don't know. Let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And I'm in a costume. I don't even know what this is. Like, I can't even, like, cosplay because I don't know what it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. You got it off Reddit, and you're like, we're going to do this. And I'm like, I don't like I'm. This is definitely not my idea. You told me my you idea. didn't like it? What? Can we? I love her. Can I don't want to be the girl in the movie. Yeah. I remember this one because she stormed off the set. She was so mad at the end of this one. And, you know, this was part of the reason why she was mad because she was there. How they're dressed, by the way, is supposed to be um, actually an iconic role. It's the Adams family. Oh, it's not family reunion. What? What? What Adam's Family movie was that one? Can you say the name? Family Values. Adam's Family Values. And it has uh, Joan. What's her face? Joan. You know this actress, Joan something? And she was just a femme fatale. And she was basically trying to get with this bald dude. I forget his name. Uncle Festus. Fester. Anyway. Isn't this an iconic role? I mean, she's e she's evil. And if you've seen the movie, you know that if she would have just, you know, softened her heart a little bit, she would have fit right in with the Adams family. But, you know, is this not iconic? Like, this is absolutely something I would love to cosplay as. Who wouldn't want to cosplay as this? And Trisha is complaining that, you know, I didn't want to dress up as her. I don't even know who she is. This is what I'm talking about. You guys don't let me have any input. But actually, when they texted her this image, they were, she, she was saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I love her. I love her. I love it. I love it. I want to be her. I want to dress up as her. Come on, Trish. Let's the movies. see the next I wanna one. Be the
You're getting a very generous deal. And the sponsors that we work to get, we do all the work to bring the sponsors. I mean, I had 50%. all of Adam and Eve for the first, like, 20 shows. And so that was one sponsor we worked with. You do most of the like, work for this podcast. I'm it's very not by you. The emails back and forth to get the sponsor, I was like, I was reading them. I was like, oh, my God. Okay, look at him just answering these emails so professionally. You guys were talking about, like, I don't even know. It was like, oh, but this for this. And I don't even know. I don't even know the words. I was so confused what's happening. And then Thank you, you negotiated something amazing. Toss of the wig. Oh, Toss of the wig. It's all me. A one man show. H3 at adamme.com. You're yeah, getting a very so this one deal. is just showing how it's the same episode that she was acting like she was mad, saying how, you know, she contributes so much. But what, but just before she was saying that she doesn't do anything. So which one is it? <laughs> Because as far as we can tell, you don't do nothing but show up, which is what she said before. Mm -hmm. Let's see the next one. No, but I feel like a lot of the frustration you have about everything with the... <laughs> frustrated? I, when I'm bringing stuff up, you get defensive. I'm not frustrated. But it is. It is like frustrating when you think you do all this work. But it is. It is like frustrating. I feel like you're gaslighting me, to be honest, saying that you're not like frustrated about it. But I'm not. It is. It is like frustrating when you think you do all this work. <laughs> I don't know why you fight me on money. The deal you have is I'm beyond not... reasonable. Okay. And then you weren't the membership. What I had to fight for. What I had to fight for. Unreasonable. Five percent. Five percent. Then I promise you, this is this is really is gaslighting. I go to a lot of therapy right now. This really is. When I say I'm not angry, I'm not. I feel like you're gaslighting me to be honest, saying that you're not like frustrated. About okay. Wow. And what's crazy is that she posted a whole bunch of YouTube videos after this, admitting to being angry, not just not just frustrated. She was angry. I'm hungry. You kidding me? She said that she fought so hard for the membership. She didn't fight for anything. Ethan voluntarily gave her whatever deal that they struck. There, there was no fighting. There was no fighting. She really wishes she could say, Oh, my life. I have to fight. But she can't. She can't. Let's see what what else they got. What other thing? <laughs> I didn't even know that she said it I in the same ask, video though. Please on the show. Wait. No, okay, but I feel like a lot one? of frustration you have okay. about. Here. We... I specifically asked, "Can we please end the show? Can we please end this?" When someone's like asking to end a conversation and just not doing it, I, we have to end it now. Like really. <laughs> what did I do? We gotta stop for real. Really. Okay. We stop. <laughs> <laughs> when someone's like asking you to end a conversation <laughs> and just not doing it <laughs> please please okay whenever you're ready you can right. walk away so no because i don't want to title this <laughs> <laughs> specifically asked can we please end the show mm -hmm. trisha trisha let me just say the I'm fact sorry. Ethan, that you just did that <laughs> man this one was so crazy because what she wanted him to do was to be like all right guys that's the end of the podcast you know lights out that's what she wanted um because she didn't want to walk off the set and she's walked off the set before and it's become a meme. So she didn't want to embarrass herself, but the embarrassment has already started. There's no saving it. The embarrassment has come. There's nothing that she, you you can do. Um, I just kind of think <laughs> it, it, it's the... Um, it's the mind reading. She wants to she wants to be catered to and coddled specifically to her specifications. When she said, let's stop, let's end it, Ethan said, okay. And because I think also they they need to do um he needs to say the sponsor. Um he said they say the sponsor at the beginning. In the middle, I think. And they also say the sponsor at the end. So it's like, you know, Trisha, the, actually the show is not finished. But if you want to be finished, you can leave. Please. Actually, Biko, please leave. Oh, Guinea. With Trisha, is oh, Guinea now. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah. So, uh, Trisha made a bunch of videos on TikTok on on YouTube. Ethan would respond with one tweet. She would respond with fifty. Ethan would make one video. She'll respond with twenty videos. I mean, like absolutely ridiculous, like incessant, obsessive neurotic like oh my god so again it's the five percent cut of the main channel which is it's a, it's a ton of money it's a five percent cut we actually don't make that much on front of me so we're not making like hundreds of thousands of dollars a month it's a ton of money i think i triggered let myself be triggered more for the paycheck i got triggered a bunch i thought oh well maybe i'll get a bigger paycheck but no work i want to be fatter actually how much did you expect to get you just doing a podcast you come here once a week i have you to thank too because i remember i did all those h3 videos like they fucking suck yeah yeah thanks <laughs> to me by the way you just made a bunch of videos shitting on me on your channel and got like a billion views isn't that crazy how drama works like that? Like, <laughs> no. So that's so funny. So, n you know, now she's complaining. Oh, extra five percent. He he gets an extra five percent. So his cuts of the show, he gets fifty five percent profit. She got forty five percent, and she just feels like that extra five percent is just so much. But here, when she was in a good mood, when she was feeling jovial, she was saying that actually the whole total, the whole one hundred percent money is not even that much money. In addition, because she's attached to Ethan, whenever she makes a video about Ethan, more and more people come. She makes these videos. She makes sure that they're very long videos, above 20 minutes. And she puts multiple ads. I I am now monetized on the YouTube. I'm now monetized on the YouTube. And I don't even know how do you add all of those ads? When I monetize a video, it says you can put ad in the beginning, at the end, and in the middle. How do you select to, how do you make it so that it will play ad after every three minutes? How do you do that one? I mean, this girl is always hustling for money, for real. So she can't just be upset that she agreed to 45% of frenemies because that's what she agreed to. And on top of that, she can make money on the back end, which she did. I used to like being sexualized because it meant like attention and it was something like edgy and if you guys watch my channel now i don't want that anymore that was always my mo on social media and i just don't i don't want that anymore i try to be more low-key because like we got approached to be on a tv show for our wedding so i'm trying to like not what? be so like you on open badge on twitter i like, deleted it all off my like twitter and stuff like any little sort of like trace of it i don't know boundaries well and i try to set them as best as i can but that was a boundary and like it's just not respecting boundaries and I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. Come you want to have sex with me? <laughs> I just feel like you either want to like be me or be in me, you know? You want to just shower with me, like take a shower. You're not me. even for $10 million. Could you imagine if we just stood next to each other and naked in the shower? We could split the money. Don't, you can't go there. <laughs> That's like one of the ground rules of the show. Lay, lay, okay. Pack. This one actually makes me mad. Actually, I'm, my eye is watering. My, my eye is watering because now I'm understanding what that was about. She's complaining that Ethan may have mentioned her sexual escapades on the show. And she's saying, oh, well, now I'm, I don't want to be sexualized. I don't, I want to get away from that. Meanwhile, it's completely okay for her to, on the show, uh, bring up her sexual attraction to Ethan. What happened? What happened to my internet? Uh-uh. Oh, what's happening? Biko, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. Where were we? But yeah, that makes me mad because she, she like all the time was talking about how she's attracted to Ethan. She wants to do, you know, jaga jaga with Ethan on only stands and she she wants she wants to know if Ethan will ever do jaga jaga with her and how he will do it she was talking about all this nonsense to a happily married man and he has asked her to stop several times Ela has asked her to stop several times you know what I'm saying it's just so disgustingly disrespectful like like oh my god like it makes me mad actually
actually we're not even gonna finish that one it makes me too mad uh-uh this Disney trip was actually planned for my sister's birthday. It was me, my mom, and Moses, and that was it. Ethan, incidentally, invited himself to our family surprise. That you didn't pay for? First of all, happy birthday. Thank Kisha. you. Had to do it. Thank you for inviting me. Is she a Smarilda? <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, inviting me and you <laughs> On a trip from Disneyland, a trip that my mom, sister, and Moses had planned for my birthday. We did invite Ethan and Hila to come willingly, graciously, because I enjoyed spending time with them and graciously. You were and friends. To. We paid for That's him. That's what friends Ethan do. Ethan and Hila did not pay for their VIP ticket to Disneyland. I begged Moses to let us pay. I begged them. It's like, who cares? You bought me a ticket. Big fucking deal. I was like, what? That's so bizarre to me. You bought me a ticket. Okay, you can just shit my fucking open mouth then. He didn't even take the time or effort to watch my sister's video. We did invite Ethan and Hila. Yeah, she deleted it. It's good that she deleted it because it was so full of BS. That's what, I don't know what is up with these YouTubers and not understanding what it, what friendship means. It's like, they're so confused. Trisha doesn't know what friendship means. Gabby doesn't know what friend, like, hmm. This is normal behavior. When you become friends with somebody and it's your birthday, it's normal behavior to invite them. And it's not strange to go ahead and pay for their ticket. Like you have money. As, by the way, by the way, the lifestyle that people live when they have money, I want to be accustomed to that. I want to be accustomed to that because, um, and just, this is just what I know from the people that I've met who have money. And when I say money, I mean, you have a net worth of like 10 million. You have net worth of like at least 3 million, at least. Okay. I, yes. I was spending time with people like this and they would tell me, you know, when, when you start getting money, your friends are also going to be people who have money because you just do things different you buy things for your friends. You always buy things for your friends because your friends also buy things for you. It's like, um, money is just not money. is not a, like a hindrance and you don't befriend people who don't have money because you like, she knew that Ethan and Ella can afford their own ticket, like with no burden on them. Right. So when you know that somebody can do it themselves, but you just have a place in your heart for them, you, you don't, you don't mind doing it for them. Just like a nice gesture of, I love you. I love you. Mm? But if you have people that, you know, they couldn't do it like, Oh, then you feel some kind of way because you don't want it to be like a weird relationship where they're trying to mooch off you or maybe they may be insulted that you're offering to pay. You know, like in Breaking Bad, Walter White, his rich friend was like, I can pay for your cancer treatment. He was like, excuse you. He even went home and he, he wanted to, ooh, he had some words for his wife for even bringing it up. But anyway, that's normal. That's what you do with your friends. That's what you do with your friends. And the sister, I don't know what compelled the sister to get into the mess. I don't know. I don't know. Can somebody explain to me what compelled her to stop spitting nonsense to insert herself in the mess? I don't comprehend it. A little card and it shows you on the back how to use everything packaging though how oh stupid gosh. how stupid she was advertising her skincare with a filter mm -mm. no other time did she use filter on this app she don't use filter she showed her whole flaws and all but for for the skincare she's gonna use filter i wish there was a little bit more padding this box is a little bit cray cray so this is how it got. Everything's all over the place. Some mm -mm. of my nope. were spilt. This nope. is complaints. Broken. What the fuck? No. Nope. <laughs> no. That's a major. You have an issue with, we will accommodate you in any way, shape, or form. Now I am a little bit upset. As a small business owner, I don't think this was in any way, shape, or form you could have approached this situation. 
listen, I didn't do it. I have an iPhone, two of them, Samsung, I have two watches. I don't know how to handle all that, so I have people Why? to do my social media. Why is she flexing? Why, why is there a flex in the apology? Listen, I got two iPhones, three Samsungs, by 5011. Uh, Apple watches, you know, I got some AirPods. I <laughs> like she just low key trying to flex in the apology. There's no padding or anything. Y'all, I'm freaking deceased. My freaking honest <laughs> diapers and wipes came with bubble wrap, but Trisha's package didn't come with bubble wrap. Are you kidding me? Yeah. These don't even need bubble wrap. Nonsense. Hard, uh, like rookie mistake. Like how have how long have you been in business? Mm, basic shipping. This is what really turned me off from Even those who sell on eBay. Even those who sell Jaga Jaga items from the house on eBay. They, they have sense to, to put pa The rapping. bus tour, like he was making fun of like the homeless situation in Hollywood. I don't know. Something about it never sat right with me. So. Never, I repeat, never, ever, 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 ever think about moving to Hollywood. I moved to Hollywood and Island thinking I was at Hollywood and Island. Like, hello, we want to live here. You do not want to live here. It's it's built it's disgusting it's gotten worse let me show you like whoa those are all homeless this is so bad wet. it is so disgusting like wait there's a homeless dude change his pants hey uh, uh, uh. okay all right hey, everybody Yikes. there's no way to hide it i mean there's a lot of homeless people <laughs> down here what's and wrong with that call it out right <laughs> and i mean god bless them but i know I don't know. There's there's a difference between saying, yeah, there's homeless people here. Like, we're not going to shy away from it. And saying, ew, gross, you will never live here because look at all the homeless people. The, this, is, this, is, this is where Trisha went wrong. No, you cannot enter the woke space with this kind of past unaccounted for. You, you, you can't do it. That's a, that's a mistake that a lot of people make. On the social media, they try to enter the woke space. And it's like, no, access denied. Uh, what's her face? Lena Durnham? Is that her name? Lena Durnham. The chick who made that show, Girls. And she's Jewish. And she tried to be woke. She tries to be very woke. And she's the one who was always tweeting, you got to believe all victims, all vi believe all, vi J baby, 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 just like Trisha, you got to believe all victims, you got to believe all SA victims, but then when it's a man being accused, a man that she knows, that's when she say, actually, you can't believe all the victims, she tweet, I couldn't believe my eye that lean on Donald of all people, fixed her fingers to tweet, that sometimes, sometimes you you can't believe all the victims. Whoa, how the tables turn. Just like Trisha. You can't fake it. If you're not woke, then you're not woke. I don't know why these people think they can benefit by pretending. You can't pretend. Once you have awoken, once your eye is open, you cannot close again. These people have their eyes closed, but they have painted white, white, put dot, put dot. And they're asking, why am I bumping into things? Or why am I bumping? Why am I bumping? You can't do it. You're in for a world of, of pain. It's a painful, it's a painful way. It's a very painful Why way. Why don't you have a dog? I did have a dog. Yeah. Oh. Freaking my ex gave it to me for a vlog. He's like, here's a dog. And I was like, <laughs> what? How am I? I didn't know how to take care of it. It was crazy. I used to be scared of dogs. Now I like love him. I remember he gave him to me and like a video. And I was like, I don't want to take care of dogs. I feel so. like that's the worst yeah, gift that's you could horrible. possibly or give to anyone. This is what Trisha wants. Wait. Called Why did they say, or a turtle? <laughs> what was that? Or a turtle? Yeah, this one too. I showed him this one. I do like it in black. I love palms. Oh. I want one so bad. So why are you getting a Pomeranian? She wants a dog. Is it a Pomeranian? Damn, yeah. that's a big oh ass lie. <laughs> she really just lied. It's like a baby. 
Hey! That was well, the color you wanted like right? Those. Yeah, he's a... Normal. It was like the best surprise ever. We had talked about it for a while that I wanted a Pomeranian. Bruh, she said on the Frenemies podcast, I didn't even know we were getting the dog. They just surprised me with it and told me I had to keep it. And that my mom would help me take care of it. He has my, oh my mom, God. my sister, yeah. me. We just love him so much. Possibly like, can't hurt anyone. Why? Why? I... My dog was because of David and Jason. They just surprised me with it for our vlog and made me keep it, even though I never asked for a dog. And yes, we did talk about this. From everyone who's like, oh my God, you can't just surprise him with a puppy. I have been wanting a puppy for a really long time. We had talked about it for a while, that I wanted a Pomeranian, that my mom would help me take care of it. Just to be clear, we did talk about this, and the plan was to maybe give the dog to Trisha's mom, who really wants Pomeranian, so. Yeah. I've always said I wanted a Pomeranian, but my mom would have to help me take care of it. So Imagine we're a team effort with this. I wanted a Pomeranian for a long time. In your Both life, me and my mom just have wanted a puppy like for this, like, so not long. Even... I live alone. My mom is alone. That was the color you wanted too, right? Yeah, he's a adorable this color wow. is just perfect everyone who needs him falls in love with him they just surprised me with it for our vlog and made me keep it we're gonna try and get some houses because we honestly want more we just love this little guy so so much we just love him so much and hopefully that'll show in here and we want two more we want a little black one and possibly a white one I never asked for a dog. Oh my god, let's go get a dog. You wanna go what? You wanna go buy a dog today? I never asked for a dog. Can we get a dog? Oh my god. My dog was because of Can I get to wow? Wow. Can I get another wow? Wow. Get me an ambulance. Wow. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Dude. No. Once somebody like that, somebody who's not afraid to lie like that, once they turn on you, no, baby. Ten foot pull. Ten foot pull. Ethan, do not pick up her phone calls. Nope. Nope. Oh, hell to no. Oh, hell to no. If I was Ela, hell to no. You're not. No, no, no. This is the same woman who in front of my face is telling me the sexual fantasy she has about my man. In, in my face. In my pregnant face. You want to tell me about the fantasies you have of my husband. And every, t every time she starts fights on that frenemies, you're fighting because it has to do with me. It has to do that Ethan is with me. Or you fight, you're mad that Ethan has impregnated me. You're mad that Ethan wants to take me on vacation. I, no, 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 no. If I was Hila, it would have been a long ass time ago. I would have said, you do not pick up the phone from that woman. Per, per, da, per, da. You don't pick up the phone. You do not pick up the phone. Any conversation is a conversation. I need to be there. Uh-uh. No, no, no. When somebody who lie like this turn, no matter the situation, just keep, keep a distance. There's so many times where people think that we like hate each other or whatever. And I'm yeah. like, no, dude, Trish is just fucking brutally honest. And if someone's doing some lax shit, she's going to call them out. And there are yeah. times that Trish has called me out for some shit like face tuning, creating a false beauty standard not, I did not no, call you out for that oh, did I defended you oh, Ethan oh. did no oh my god never no, no, no but Luca, I, I saw Luca she did fly. something people were calling out for photoshopping over the weekend and you know what can I just say I mean she really does overdo it because I did see the side by side from this weekend it's unrecognized you know what I think it is I think <laughs> these are things Trisha has always wanted to say She's always wanted to call up people on their dirt because she's so used to people calling her out and she's just always wanted to just do it back. She's always wanted to do the net. She just wanted to be the nice, nasty. She's always wanted to do it. And she thought the way she can do it is to fake apologize for whatever in the past and become a woke. And now... She can trash talk everybody because she's doing it in the name of wokeness. That's, that is what she thought. People make this mistake. This is a very common mistake. Damn. I literally like hate everyone, but I like actually like love you because you've always been nice. Tana Mongo, do you like her? <sighs> 
Trisha and I were literally talking about how everyone fucking thinks we like don't get along or whatever. I know I love you and I hate I hate that people think that too. I'm like, oh my god, who are these people? Nobody cares anymore. And it's so fucking beautiful. Oh my god, right now. And I can't wait for this to happen to the Lair Rays, to the Tannas. Oh I cannot wait for this to happen. I'm gonna be Wendy Williams, well, still hated, but you guys will be Jan nobodies. <laughs> Oh, you could be Wendy Williams. I not for the downfall. I'm not, like, not a shit person. It's not like for you're doing things that are illegal. Yeah. You know, I feel like your scandals are always like you for you the know downfall. What I mean? Which is good. Tana won Creator of the Year last year. Everyone's like, what the fuck? What did Nicki Minaj say? They they only diss you when it's beneficial. What did she say? They only praise you when it's beneficial. You know what I'm saying? And that's because she's literally like, I'll if you vote like she did oh, that with she, Biden that, that, oh yeah and the you... FBI was like uh uh I think that's illegal Literally. she got investigated by the FBI yeah there's so many times where people think that we like <laughs> Tana be quiet I literally uh -huh. like hate everyone but I like actually like love you because you've always Obviously, I didn't know what climate change was last year. Do that you believe that climate change is an urgent time bomb that we need to face immediately? I have no idea what that is. Global warming is a hoax. You know that the Earth... This is why people think she's stupid. And this is why people think, like, when things happen, like, her videos are deleted or she copyright strikes a channel. This is why people think, oh, no, it was just an accident. It just happened automatically. That, like, they... People think that she's stupid because she plays stupid. People think she doesn't know how to act out in her own self-interest because of, of, of stuff like Earth this. is warming? I don't. Scientists who have even said there's no rise in temperature in the tropical troposphere. Man-made climate change, carbon in the air. Go tropical green, conserve our energy, less fuel, less toxins into our air. Otherwise, we're going to kill ourselves off. Is it going to happen in my lifetime because I don't have kids? Holy sh... Global warming is a hoax. I'm going to stand by it. I'm going to have my grandchildren Damn, stand by it. Damn, that's a that's commitment. Commitment to the bimbo act. The Oscar goes to. And tell them stand by it. Are you sure you want everyone to vote? Because I'm kind of dumb at some of these things. Maybe I shouldn't be voting. If you're truly liberal, you're going to go against this. You're going to fight the good fight. This is designed by our government to make more money. It's a scare tactic. I feel like I need to get into politics sometimes. And rather than just preaching here on YouTube, Bomb has been in office now for that six years and we all haven't spontaneously combusted. I think that says we can survive anything. Swear. She lies like a politician for sure. Hand to God, I don't Dan, know. Do you Obviously, I didn't know what climate change was last year. Do That's you believe that climate I take pride in not cowering away from people I have disagreements with, people that don't like me. Like, I will always talk to, confront people that I have issues with, and I call it out. Why should we be afraid to call him out? Why like, should we be scared of him? Because it just, like, really affects me. I think it's just triggering him more to be more aggressive towards you. Because nobody calls him out. People are all scared of him because they know that he's, like, such a psycho. But he doesn't psycho. think he is. There's nothing. Of he's course. like, you're right. Ethan's right. It's not yeah, you change. You they don't want to keep triggering him because he is so unhinged. But I don't like to let him have that power over me. Where it's like, oh, he's so crazy that I can never call him out because he has no limit to trying to ruin your life. I do not. And this is what people do. Remember the Karen and the Victoria's Secret who was shaking on the floor and everyone around was like, just leave her alone. Just ignore her. Just ignore her. That's that's what these people bank on. They bank on you feeling overwhelmed by the shenanigans, by the insanity so that you leave them alone and they can continue their shenanigans. That's what they bake on. Tr people like Trisha think think the rest of us do like that. But no, actually, Ethan is Mr. Petty. Listen, I can be petty too. Like, a lot of us don't play that game, okay? Yes, I will be the lady that's recording Victoria's Secret Karen and everyone's telling me, just put your phone away uh, now. You can call, you can stay over there and coddle, but you're not finna indoctrinate me into your passive aggressive nature. I am gonna get this on film so I can protect myself. Or in Ethan's case, Ethan not Ethan. That's why people are like, though, this Trisha Ethan thing's gonna go on forever because Ethan will always defend himself. He's not, he's not gonna just let you do whatever. And I stand for that too ever back down mm -hmm. i'm not gonna cower and be like i'm not gonna talk to them or i'm gonna ignore them or block them keep me out of drama and he's like no i will not and i'm like okay well i'm gonna block you and then he posted our conversations on twitter i have him blocked and i have one other person blocked and that's it and i never see their stuff and i live very happy that way Blocky i'm blocking Anna. you now this is insane i said no normal person would ever get involved with you he's gonna block my style and call he was blocked <laughs> i guess i should call him <laughs> i take pride in that 
literally like I was like suicidal over and he knew about this and like publicly having him on the podcast for views for (laughs) your shitty podcast to have 300,000 views you couldn't delete the last one fucking Jeffrey I told him the podcast thing was a big issue for me a lot take fucking dumb podcast down but I've always gone on people's podcasts I need to stay relevant that's how my job is working yeah such a hypocrite I'll go on I'll go on Jeff Wittick's I think Ethan and Keemstar should have a discussion even if she just wants people to do what she says she wants to be the the ruler of the world I can't even know. That's I'm sure you asked me therapist, I'm like, what mental disorder do I have? He was the one who kind of explained, like, you know, everyone has levels. They all have characteristics. You know, it's hard to just diagnose. So I think he had the same sort of assumption, which he's allowed to have. I said, tell me, do I have my bipolar or some shit? And he's like, well, everyone has traits of, like, personality disorders. He goes, you have, like, traits of borderline personality. Have you been diagnosed with something? No, no, because I asked him. I, that was the first thing I said. I'm like, okay, so do you think I'm borderline? Do you think I'm bipolar? And he goes, mm-hmm. honestly, he goes, you have traits of borderline personality disorder, but I've never been fully blown diagnosed. She has told us that the person who's seeing her says she doesn't have a diagnosable personality disorder as yet, but she has traits of certain personality disorders, right? And I'm not manipulative, but people keep saying it. What I think is she just went to a therapist. A therapist can't diagnose you with anything. I think she just went to a therapist. She didn't actually go to a friggin' doctor. So I'm like, maybe I am, but I honestly don't intentionally try to be. I try and be as authentic as I can so people don't think that about me. You can be authentic and be manipulative. Well, people think I manipulate the audience by talking about borderline in general because this is a recent diagnosis as of last year. They call me crazy for so many years, never got diagnosed until I was 31, and then they're just like, well, now she's being manipulative. Yes, I have been... I guess diagnosed. I don't know. Therapists have told me to go to DPT classes. Say I have traits of BPD. I've never really been like, this is you, but I pretty much think it's me. Uh, I got d- diagnosed with borderline in 2019. I was in like three mental hospitals that year. So I was like, oh, I'm just borderline. That's it. Like, I mm-hmm. didn't think there was anything more. I did have like a really bad episode. So I had like schizophrenia l- a diagnosis on in January of this year. And- oh, hold on. How many more of these? We're going to have to do a part two because I actually have to leave. Oh, yeah, we will do a part two. So let me know if you want to see a part two. We can do a part two. I have to go. I have to get my show on the road. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. That way it lets other people in YouTube know that this is worth watching and more people will watch and then more people will leave comments and then there's more people for us to build some healthy parasocial relationships with let me know your thoughts in the comments thank you for being with me for just under 40 minutes until next time much love much luck peace out